Hello and welcome to our Shaman College blog. My name is Kimba and today today is a combination of teachings and sharing but also uh, an invitation to join me with a, a meditation, a practice and we'll see how it develops. Right now, it is the midpoint of spring. So we are at those days that are the midpoint between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. So for us in the Western Hemisphere, you know we've been coming out of winter. So there's a warming phase and a kind of growing phase and we're we've come into this fullness of spring as we head into the summer and for our friends on the other hemisphere and the southern hemisphere you'll be experiencing a, a we're, we're experiencing reflections of each other but we're all in a midpoint of a season of movement. So a warming season or a cooling season, we're in that midpoint of those movement seasons. Now, these midpoints are very... Uh, They offer us very specific medicine. We find them at the solstices, for sure. These midpoints, these points of suspension. So if we were on the swing set or the pendulum, suspension this way, suspension, and then this way, so it's part of our cycle. Suspend and fall. Suspend at the end of your exhale when all the air that's going to be emptied empties for that phase. There's a suspension. There's a pause where nothing happens. And then there's a growth, an inhale. At the top of the inhale, there's a suspension. And then on the exhale. So every cycle, whether it be year cycle, season cycle, breath cycle, life cycle, we have these moments where there's a divine pause. It's a divine pause. Now what happens at the pause? <clears throat> what happens at the pause? Now some people, many people actually, You know, we love like expansion, don't we? We love um, growth, expansion, beauty, color, sensation. Yeah. All of this, ah, all of this. Yeah. <laughs> we should. I mean, it's beautiful, it's fun, it's colorful, it's synchronous, it's melodious, yeah? And there's also the, the cleansing, right? Dropping things, emptying, revealing, letting go, shedding, releasing. That's also a movement phase. 
yeah and sometimes even when those feel bleh, like oh some people really love it you know they keep they keep loving all that shedding releasing emptying also another phase so there's the expanding and then there's a the dropping emptying 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 yeah both very movement phases but then there's times when nothing 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 happens and that's when um, sometimes people might say these are the dark times these are the kind of depress depressive times or these are the kind of uh, times when uh, self-doubt, um, darker memories, um, you know, these pieces that we don't like, say, or are more uncomfortable, those start to show up as well. <clears throat> or, for some people, even worse, nothing. Okay. So if there's something that shamanism and our deep practices with shamanism gifts us, it's the ability to navigate the dark. And sometimes navigating the dark means sitting and doing nothing. The dark. When I say the dark and I say navigating the dark, it's not really seeing in the dark. Because you see, for us, that's what the dark means. We cannot see there. It's not night vision goggles. <laughs> it's not being able to see. Sight being taken. And see might mean realize. It might mean um, understand. It might mean, um, you know, how to put something together. How? Things like that. Decipher. Get. So at the sacred time between equinox and solstice, may we honor this divine pause and I invite you to join me now as I guide you through let's go into a meditation a kind of contemplation you can touch your heart or your body hands on your legs or on your chest close your eyes if you'd like to I find it's very helpful
and travel inside. Go into you, into the dark, into you, into your body. Feel yourself sitting here. And get extremely simple. You're sitting here. There's breath moving. There's the sound of uh, my voice and perhaps the sound of the space around you. Nothing really to see. With your eyes closed, it's fairly dark. Maybe the light of the day or the lamp light is still finding its way in a bit. We are awake, and yet something is sleeping. We are awake, and yet something is asleep. And you're sitting here and your auditory senses are working and your eyes are closed. Your breath is moving. As we go into the pause, the suspension as we go into the darkness. You may be entering into a cave. You may be entering into the night. Maybe you're entering into a kind of like a burrow or a um, a hole in a tree. Your body is here, there's breath moving. Your auditory senses are working, your eyes are closed. What is here? What is here? Soil is here, the ground. Perhaps the roots or the rock.
you may imagine the sense of smell here. Maybe the smell of the soil or the rock or the tree or the roots. If your hand is on your body, whether it be on your heart or on your legs or on your lap, feel that contact of your hand to your body. A touch, a contact. So the kinesthetic sensation is here. There's no need to change anything. We're not trying to figure anything out. It's a pause. Your body is sitting here. There's breath moving. There's a kinesthetic touch of your hand, hands on your body. There's a sound. There may be a smell, a scent. There may be an internal sense of a cave or hole or burrow. Now with all of your effort, <laughs> with the, it's not effort with muscle, it's effort with focus. With all of your focus, go deeply in, like deeper in, deeper into the kinesthetic touch the sense of the ground. Deeper into the sense of your breath. Deeper into the spaces between the sounds. Deeper into the cave or the hollow. Not to explore it further, but to explore it fuller. Not to travel new terrain, but to open the terrain that is here in the pause. The pause has its own wisdom. The pause has its own vastness. Hang out here a little bit longer. Can you become it even more? 
Can you deepen the pause? Not to find a further answer, not to see anything more, but to embody the pause even more. Return to your breath. Feel the breath moving under your hand, under your ribs, under your clothing. You may want to keep your hands where they are, or you may want to lower them. And then just let a little bit of light in through your eyes. So a little bit of light comes in. And when the light comes in, the world of vision, the world of color also comes in. And deep inside of you, something deep inside knows the dark pause that you were just embodying. the richness of the unseen. The fullness in its own way So within you, because you are a part of this vast existence, <clears throat> and you are one with this vast existence, so within you is all the growth creative expression, color, lightness of being, all of that is within you. 
and all the shedding and the releasing and the emptying and the freeing and the, all of that is within you. And also what's within you is the dark, is the depth, is the pause, is the stillness, suspension, unseen, the unknown, I want to say that the ability to navigate the darkness starts with being able to go into the pause like we just did. And I do believe, and I know this to be true, and yet, navigating the darkness is another type of doing. It's a different type. So I don't want to sound like First, step one, (laughs) go into the pause as deeply and fully as you can into the dark. Two, be able to navigate as if navigating it is a heightened skill. We could say that the highest skill is being able to fully, truly honor and go in to the the unseen and hang out there. We could say that is what we just did today is the highest skill. And from there, uh, Possibly navigation can happen if it needs to. From this place, from this place, thank you. From this place, From this place, I uh, really honor you. I honor this place in you. Okay. Mm 